Hi, I'm Megan Day from Burnt Finger Barbecue, and I am here with a beef short rib appetizer for the Royal Oak Ambassador Recipe Series. Let's talk about a beef short rib. As you can see, it is a thin piece. It almost looks like bacon or something, but you can see these bones that are still in here. The butcher has gone through and taken some beef ribs and just taken it to a bandsaw and sliced these beautiful cuts. You're going to want to rinse this off because during that butchering process, sometimes the shards will get in there, but that's really all the prep that you need. It's one of those recipes that is Wait and hurry up because you're going to wait a little while to get all the marinade in there, but then it's going to be quick fire on the grill and on people's plates for a nice appetizer. All the flavor is in this bag. We're going to start off with a cup of soy sauce, a half cup of brown sugar, and a half cup of water. We're going to add in three cloves of garlic, and you're going to chop them up and put them in there, along with some green onions, just the white part. You're going to save that green part for some garnish at the end. We're gonna add a little bit of tanginess with some rice vinegar, two tablespoons of that, and then three tablespoons of some vegetable oil. All of that goes into a marinade. You're gonna put the beef ribs down into, I would say at least four hours. You could do it overnight if you wanted to get it ahead of the game before you grill them. And just to dress it up, I added a little bit of sesame seeds inside the marinade as well. But now we're gonna start laying them out and, and discard that marinade. The wonderful thing about this cut of meat is you really get that beefy flavor of, say, a beef rib, but you get that quick, fast char flavor like you do on a steak. You're going to see these are absolutely a hit. I just pulled these beef short ribs off of the grill. They only went about, what, three, three, four minutes on each side and they're charred perfectly. I'm serving it with some white rice and I just added our steakhouse grill seasoning right on top of that. Garnished all of this with a little bit of those greens that were left over from the marinade. We've got some sesame seeds to dress it up as well. The reason I like to call this an appetizer is because each little bone becomes its own little like party bite. You can hold it, it's got a handle, and it's super tender and delicious. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh yeah. The fattiness that you just love, that delicious flavor that's in there, but yet that meat is super tender. There's sweetness from the brown sugar. I can taste the tanginess. If you want more recipes just like this, head over to royaloak.com.